How I wish, wish, wish I could get away from it all. You're probably thinking to yourself, Pop of the Pock, what the hell is that? And to be honest, even after watching this multiple times over, I am not sure I know myself. The story is, Pop of the Pock gets a job at the pickle factory, but quickly screws up the most basic of instructions, and wishes to get away from his dead-end life, only for this amalgamation of Dugan and fairies or whatever they say. Your lifestyle, if you'll permit me. Is strictly to come in and grant him a magic piano with all these transporting buttons inside. So he travels to a handful of distant lands, gets into some trouble along the way, and at some point runs into a beautiful eyeball dancer, whatever that is, named Nifa Fifa. But then Puck loses her, and he tries to remember which button takes him back, while the spirits try to track him down themselves, and then things just kind of wrap up. Just from that description, you can tell full well this was by the point where these specials were little more than a paycheck to Dr. Seuss. The plot just moves so slowly from start to finish, and rarely does anything interesting actually seem to happen. Plot points just kind of come up out of nowhere, like the romance between Pock and Nifa Fifa that's literally love at first sight, as well as how they're all back working at the pickle factory at the end for no real reason other than to bookend, I guess. I get that they're trying to convey a there's no place like home sort of message, but the way it's structured and executed just doesn't come across at all. A smart panic, eh? Haven't seen such a poop out in many a day. If Pock can't handle knowing what to pull and push, then maybe he should look at different lines of work and find one he's actually good at? I don't know, just a thought. I get that he's feeling like a loser in the moment and he's supposed to realize that he isn't actually useless, but there's practically nothing that reaffirms him in his journey beyond finding love. And beyond that, the most defining thing about Nipa beyond appearance is the fact he hates working for this possibly racially insensitive design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No twitch em, switch em. But like, is doing the monotonous assembly line job really that much better? Even one for Chipper's song? What a wonderful way to spend every day. Is it though? Even the writing and art styles don't feel particularly Seuss. You still get the nonsense word here and there, but the way the lines are delivered make it not read as well as it did under most of the previous lead voices. That smart Alex on that piano is my flugel horn gabastit. And most egregiously, it rarely even bothers to rhyme its dialogue. I know other specials have gone in and out of this, but this is definitely the most lacking and inconsistent here, and it makes the experience all the more forgettable. Not to mention the flipper-like hands, seriously, what the hell? And how every character design is either forgettably generic, or just plain out of place. And don't even get me started on how annoying the sound editing can get, especially when the fairy things get involved. You simply tap out these six very simple notes. Now, the one saving grace of note is the orchestration from Joe Raposo. The songs themselves are very... Eh. Oh lay he who I'm flying free. Oh lay he who, oh lay he he. But he really puts in his all to make this feel like the high flying, thrilling adventure it's supposed to be. Some of these instrumental tracks carry such an immersion that almost manages to make up for the lackluster visuals and writing. There's really not much else I have to say about Pop of the Pock, though. There's this one guy voiced by Don Mezick who sounds exactly like Hampton J. Pig. He's in Springfield, Massachusetts, and he's been there all along. It looks like the design of his house will be referenced much later for all the places he'll go. And from a historical perspective, this was one of the last of Patty Freeling projects before it turned into Marvel Productions. Yeah, that's about all I have. There's a reason this special has been forgotten. Definitely a skip in my book. Let's just get away from it all and move on. 